Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to see the calculation of capacitance, standard unit of capacitance and the relative capacitances. So in the previous video, I have explained you about area capacitance. Thereby, we have calculated the standard unit of capacitance square CG. The square CG is calculated by multiplying the area with the capacitance value. Area is in terms of micrometer square and capacitance is in terms of picofarads per micrometer square. So if you multiply these two, that will give you the standard unit of capacitance in terms of picofarads. All these capacitance values are approximately in terms of picofarads because very, very small amount of capacitance is existed virtually when you are going to construct a mass transistor. So now, if you see this tabular form, in the tabular form, along with the capacitance values, you are also having relative capacitance value, relative value, okay, that is given in all brackets for all different types of capacitors, gate to channel to metal to to polysilicon until metal to to polysilicon capacitors, all these values are given in terms of brackets, so those are relative capacitance values, relative capacitance. Okay, so now we will see how to use this particular relative capacitance value in the calculation of particular capacitance from gate to uh, channel or metal 1 to metal 2 or any type. Okay, consider this material. This material is having just I am taking this example for the calculation of capacitance, a simple calculation of capacitance. We are taking a material with a length L with a length L, any type of material. If it is the case, what could be the calculation of metal, what could be the calculation of polysilicon, what could be the calculation of capacitance in n-type diffusion, we will see one after another. Okay, so consider a layer like this with a length L and width W. Now, L is very high, which is of 20 lambda and W width is only 3 lambda. Now, first for this particular layer, generally what we will do L into W is nothing but L into W is nothing but area we will calculate area and thereby if you multiply with the capacitance you will get standard unit of capacitance. But as it is having a different and cut over there, definitely we should go for the calculation of relative area. So, relative area, relative area is equal to 20 lambda into 3 lambda divided by, this is what we are having L, is to w, L into W for this particular layer, divided by, relatively we are calculating with respect to standard unit area, nothing but 2 lambda by 2 lambda. For any material, the standard unit value is 2 lambda. L is equal to 2 lambda and W is equal to 2 lambda because the, for a feature size, if we say L equal to W, we generally consider 2 lambda. So that's why relative area, we are calculating the area relatively with respect to this particular standard unit. That's why it is 2, 20 lambda into 3 lambda, whatever we are having originally over here, divided by the standard values, which is 2 lambda by 2 lambda. Okay, so that is, we are going to find, it is approximately 15. <coughs> now its value is 15. Now, you can calculate whatever the capacitance you want, you can calculate individually. So, consider first one, consider the area in metal one. Okay, so consider this particular area. Consider the area in metal one. So, capacitance to substrate, capacitance to capacitance to substrate is equal to relative area into relative capacitance area. Relative capacitance relative area into relative capacitance relative area is nothing but 15 
we have calculated just now and now relative capacitance relative capacitance how much it is for metal one see here we are taking it in terms of metal one so for metal one to substrate metal one to substrate that is what we have written consider the area in metal one capacitance to substrate so metal one for 5 micrometer technology metal 1 to substrate value is 0 0.075 standard unit of capacitance so it is 0 0.075 standard capacitance value square cg here we are going to calculate all these relative values are in terms of standard unit of capacitance that square cg whatever the value that comes with respect to that particular layer that has to be multiplied with this one then you will get the original capacitance from that particular layer metal to metal one to substrate okay so that is equal to 1.125 standard square cg this is metal one to substrate capacitance metal one to substrate capacitance for your relative area whatever you have taken 15 hope you understand now consider and see here what you have to understand from this one so this is nothing but the capacitance to substrate is 1.125 times that of the feature size square gate area okay normally l is equal to w is nothing but this one if l equal to w is not equal then <coughs> it is the multiplication of this value so consider the same relative area in polysilicon consider the same in polysilicon so capacitance to substrate capacitance to substrate is equal to area is relative area multiplied by relative capacity relative capacitance so 15 into what is what we have taken polysilicon to substrate see polysilicon to substrate means this one it is having a relative area for 5 micrometer technology 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 square cg that square cg comes when l is equal to w as here in our example l is equal to l is not equal to w we are taking l equal to w multiplied with the new value then it gives the standard square cg value okay so it is 1.5 square cg and similarly the same 5 micrometer technology consider the same area in n type diffusion consider the same area in n type diffusion so capacitance to substrate capacitance to substrate is equal to so relative area into relative capacitance value relative capacitance value into square cg okay so relative area already we have calculated it is 15 times relative capacitance value for the uh, n type diffusion and the substrate n type diffusion and the substrate see here diffusion for the diffusion you are having 0 0.25 for 5 micrometer technology whether it is a p type diffusion or n type diffusion so diffusion is having an active layer of a capacitance 
which is of 0.25 micrometers <coughs> for any type whether it is p type or n type it is equal so 0. 0 0.25 square cg okay so 15 into 0. 0.25 that is equal to 3.75 square cg this is the n diffusion capacitance n diffusion to substrate you can write n diffusion to substrate capacitance hope you understand so that means it is it means the n diffusion to substrate capacitance is 3.75 times the standard unit of capacitance okay normally standard unit because since the standard unit of capacitance the standard unit of capacitance is calculated per feature size feature or standard size that is nothing but l equal to w hope you understand now how to calculate the capacitance values for different materials with different uh, values and even in, i told you how to calculate the relative velocities as well thank you